pink prawns from Kingfisher are absolutely unbelievable. And the way you can tell a good quality prawn is when you actually peel it off and it's white. Absolutely white and you can feel the oil. That oil in here is unbelievable. And I think that's why the bronze beam are actually preferring uh, the pink prawn at the moment to the red prawn. The system that I'm using here, if you have a look, it's called the kickback system. Once I put the prawn on it and the bronze beam start eating, when you actually strike, the float pushes back against it and it actually kicks back into the prawn, uh, into the bronze beam's mouth. So basically that's what it looks like. First prawn, turn it inside out and I'm going to be tying around that earbud over there. That's where I'm actually tying to. So let's just grab our cotton. I'm tying quite a bit of cotton around that earbud area and very little around the actual hook area. And I'll just come back again and a lot around there. Okay. And that's basically what the trace looks like that I'm using at the moment. So let's go catch a bronze beam. Pushing the bait up now because we're going to get a fish now. Wait for the bite. We're fishing right on the low tide at the moment. And as you know, bronze bream like that incoming water, so it's only gonna get better and better. That hook is always in the side, that little um, chinoo. Let go, boys. And it's a bugger to try and get him out. <clears throat> That's what we come to catch here. These gorgeous little things here. Cool. <laughs> Let's try it again. Let's see if we can get another bream. You always lose that first little one a little bit more than you should. Bream, yeah, bream, yeah, bream. Come on. Come on, my boy.
Come, boys! <laughs> And that's why you must use a much lighter sinker snoot, so the sinker breaks off and you don't lose your trace. But that fish was there, he definitely was there. Sorry guys. Ah, time to catch another one. Show you how close these bream actually are. Come and stand on the rock with me. I'll show you. I've seen them. There's a little gutter here that comes out here, and there must probably be two rod links in front of that gutter. If you can see that white water comes off just over there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm literally going to throw where that wave is now. Watch this. There it is. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Come on, boy. And there we go, another beautiful bronze bream, less than 10 meters from my feet. Catch him and put him back quickly. Unbelievable how they get the fish in that side of the mouth every single time. Guys, there's a fish, there we go. Bye bye, bye bye. Ah, oh, you mother! No longer trace on there, they, they, they're not eating 100%, they're messing around. Donking, just putting a lighter hook snoot on, a uh, sinker snoot. Because I'm fishing in amongst the rocks, close combat, as I like to call it. And it's all about fun, guys. All about fun. They lovely fish, they lovely light tackle fish. And you can do this all day when the conditions are right. As they are today, of course. <laughs> Personal thing, I think the red bead on a overcast day makes more difference in a clean water day when the sun's shining. I think that bead doesn't, uh, that float, that orange float doesn't make that much difference. But on a day like this, that orange float makes a huge difference. It's just more of a visual thing. brown sand up there so the white water sucking back off of the rocks there right there that's where the bream are going to be that's where i'm going to throw my next bait again if it's where that wave is coming now that's where we're going to catch the bream i'm going to throw mine i threw too close to you i don't like it when i'm so close to someone okay. else well done my boy Right 
Basically, the fish have gone off the bite at the moment. We've been moving, trying different spots to try and find the shoal of bronze bream. Uh, we moved about 600 meters from where we last were. We're now going to start moving our way back again to see if we can catch up with that shoal because they just seem to have disappeared. October is definitely by far the best month for catching bronze bream here in Natal, especially on the, the Durban side, if I can put it that. Lower south, they definitely start earlier and finish later. But yeah, October is definitely the best month for them as far as I'm concerned. Rock or a yellow belly or anything like that. One shed fish! <laughs> 